Did you know that prostate cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in men across the world? Men diagnosed with prostate cancer have several treatment options, including active surveillance for men with very early and slow-growing prostate cancers. However, for men who require a more active treatment strategy, there are also several options. Surgical removal of the prostate, external beam radiation therapy, or brachytherapy. Each has their own unique balance of convenience, invasiveness, and effects on urinary, bowel, and sexual function. These treatments can be used either alone or in conjunction with one another, depending upon how advanced and aggressive the particular cancer may be. While external beam radiation therapy delivers treatment from the outside in, brachytherapy is a technique in which radioactive sources are placed inside the prostate gland to deliver a very high dose of radiation therapy to treat the prostate cancer from the inside out. This greatly reduces the radiation doses delivered to the surrounding organs, namely the bladder and rectum. This makes the treatment very desirable to patients as it minimizes the duration of therapy as well as offers a favorable side effect profile, particularly in terms of preservation of sexual function. Brachytherapy was initially developed as a seed implant or low dose rate brachytherapy in which radioactive sources similar to grains of rice were deposited into the prostate and decayed over a period of several months. More recently, there has been the development of high-dose rate brachytherapy, where a tiny radioactive source is only temporarily placed into the prostate gland without the need to permanently place any material inside the patient. Here at Florida Hospital, we specialize in high-dose rate brachytherapy. While the overall procedure is similar to the seed implant, there are several key improvements which help to improve the side effect profile in comparison. One particular advancement uniquely offered at Florida Hospital is the use of MRI imaging for treatment planning for patients receiving high dose rate brachytherapy. The procedure begins with the patient going to the operating room where they receive general anesthesia. An ultrasound probe is then inserted into this rectum similar to how a prostate biopsy is performed. Small plastic tubes or catheters are then placed directly into the prostate through the perineum, which is the skin between the anus and scrotum, using the ultrasound for guidance. A total of approximately 15 catheters are placed. A soft rubber template or needle guide is then sutured to the patient's perineum to hold the catheters in place. The patient is then transferred to the MRI unit where they undergo a highly detailed MRI scan. Once the MRI images are obtained, each catheter is carefully reconstructed by our medical physics team. The physicians then carefully outline the prostate gland, which is the target, along with structures to which we want to limit the radiation doses to, which include the urethra, bladder, rectum, as well as the structures critical for maintaining erectile function. MRI is far superior to CT scanning in terms of visualization of these structures. A powerful computer then helps to develop a treatment plan to best place the tiny radioactive source into different positions within each of the implanted catheters to best deliver radiation to the prostate while limiting dose to the surrounding structures. Once a treatment plan has been approved, the treatment is then delivered over approximately 10 to 15 minutes. The patient is then transferred back to the operating room where the catheters are removed under sedation. The entire process takes approximately four to five hours. Patients then can return home the same day without any radioactive materials being left within their body. Which avoids the need for any radiation precautions, particularly for patients who spend time with young children or pregnant women, as well as those with upcoming travel plans. Patients with earlier stage, less aggressive prostate cancers can be treated with brachytherapy alone in two sessions separated by approximately two weeks. For patients with more advanced disease, the radiation oncologist may recommend a combination approach including both external beam radiation therapy and a single brachytherapy procedure. When compared to a traditional external beam radiation therapy course, which is approximately nine weeks, brachytherapy can be a far more convenient option for many patients. For some patients who have previously received radiation therapy to the prostate but have developed a local recurrence or a disease within the prostate gland, high dose rate brachytherapy may also be an option. If you are interested in learning more about high dose rate MRI guided prostate brachytherapy offered at Florida Hospital, please contact us.